Hi everybody, welcome back to Time Predicts and this is another reading. So today I'm going to do the current situation, the love situation and what they are thinking and what is the outcome. Let's see if there's an outcome also. So while writing, I always get the collective, uh, you know, uh, what the feeling that's uh, going on right now in your love situation. Remember, this is a gen reading, might or might not uh, resonate with everybody. But yes, this is what I'm getting the energy today. So I think right now the situation is, I think the current situation is they're blowing hot and cold, uh, not committing, standoffish, uh, talking, not talking. So let's see what's on their mind and what is the uh, current situation. So they're going to call around 7.45 p.m. So whenever you're listening to this reading, it could be today or tomorrow, but definitely it's around 7.45 uh, p.m. plus uh, minus 5, uh, 10 minutes here and there, it's fine. But they are going to call you. I think they want to talk to you, but right now they're feeling that if they talk to you much, you probably think that they have come back because I think they're in a mode of thinking. They're in a thinking mode. So right now i think we should have modes right now their mode is thinking i see i'm making my uh, i'm making up my mind so they're making up my mind what to do with this relationship i don't know if there's a fight or there's a you know there's a natural time you know like a course that a relationship goes to so there are times when you're like almost fed up of each other and you're like okay take a break or there's been a fight or different things happen uh, different problems in every situation but yes they're trying to uh, you know make up their mind about uh, what to do with this relationship what to do with you or to talk or what to they do with themselves how do they feel because i feel right now they are very unsure of how they're feeling so i'm sure you were in a great relationship i think it was a very strong relationship see i got fed up so i was just going to say i got fed up somewhere they got fed up of all this fighting all this uh, not understanding each other and uh, they wanted a little um, me time they wanted a little quiet time you know because it gets on to i'm sure it got on to your nerves also you both were fighting so give, give me a bit of a time i think yeah, time is a big factor you know and if you give them a bit of a time you give yourself a bit of a time and you both give each other sorry space uh, i think it's going to be much better but right now i think they're not in the mode of uh, coming uh, Sunday, I don't think they'll be like really uh, impulsive about it and say, hey, I miss her and uh, miss him and let's, you know, I want to talk uh, to him or whatever, uh, whoever's listening to this, whatever gender. But I definitely feel a time is a big factor. You both need space, you know, it's like time out for each other, from each other, for each other, from each other. Not been talking much. I think they've not been talking much, even if they call you, you know, uh, sorry, I don't know what's happened something's bitten me on the eye so uh, normally uh, when you uh, were talking to each other you know there were a lot of lovey-dovey messages or calls or something but now you see that they have changed you know the way they talk or the way they address you there's something changed and they're also acting a little cold sometimes they're fine sometimes you know you try to uh, drop a hint that you know hey uh, remember we used to talk so much I remember we used to say this but definitely they are not trying to go to that that space or their mindset is not that and uh, they, are, they I think are avoiding that's another message that I get so give them time I think you also need time and things will be better I'm still hurting they're hurting from something that happened you know it could be external factor they could it could be anything else but they're definitely hurting you know it could be words exchange a fight or something between you two so there is there is uh, there is this hurt that's happening you know and uh, don't push me please so they're saying don't push me away please you know right now uh, no sorry they're saying don't push me please okay push me was here i wrote uh, because not push away but it was like don't push me to respond or to say things i think they need time the more you uh, ask them why or more you say you know what's happening what will happen you know the more you push them to give an answer the more they are going to move away from you so don't do that no pushing them or poking them for an answer so tuesday wednesday and uh, saturday are important for you sorry you must be flipping that's why i'm uh, saying the words so tuesday wednesday and saturday are important for you maybe um, they will come out and tell you how you f how they feel about you or where this is going or what do they want from the relationship but definitely uh, i think they are going to make some kind of a contact a longer chat if you if they've not been giving you time on the phone or you've not been getting time i think they will have this longer chat on uh, one of these days I need time to feel the same so that's what I said don't push them and poke them the more you tell them oh do you don't feel the same it's not a machine okay it's not automatically you switch them on and switch it off for them also I think somewhere the feeling got switched off maybe it is you or them but somewhere the feeling got switched off and they'll take time you know uh, to switch it on or to feel the same but I definitely definitely feel if you give them time they will feel the same for you and I think they are going to move towards that very slowly it's not going to, going to be like one day you wake up or they wake up and they're like hey I want to be uh, the same again I'm deciding what to do so definitely they are on this you know uh, they are in a space where thinking more where they're deciding what to do about it how to go about it uh, what are the things they want from the relationship uh, do they want something or is it not the right time so I think they are answering a lot of whys in their mind to themselves and they are questioning themselves quite a lot 
I want to take a clear stand. This is why, because you both have been very unclear where the relationship is going, or uh, you've been very unclear. They've not been giving you very clear answers, and uh, they also want to either take this way or take that way. Maybe there are two ways for them. You know, uh, it's like you know, should I go back to you, uh, back to them, or should I, you know, uh, uh, give it time, not move forward? So a uh, lot of things uh, on their on their mind. That's what I feel. I think they are burdened pretty much, you know, about so many, uh, they are also thinking so much. So current situation is blowing hot and cold, uh, so sometimes they are like warm and sometimes they will, you know, uh, talk as if nothing has happened and suddenly, you know, they will go quiet for three, four days and they'll, uh, when they talk, they'll be like, okay, hi, how are you, like very friendly and normal, you know, very formal sometimes stuff. So you're also getting confused, like what do they really want, you know, from the relationship, is it happening, not happening, so it's confusing you also. The the fight got me thinking so this is what it is so the fight probably got them thinking probably you guys were fighting and there could be a fight where you said some hurting words it's not that you could be at fault or something all the time but i'm seeing some of you it could be one of you two of you because this is a general reading so they are hurting from something i think money is also hurting them look at this my money my money situation is not good somewhere uh, there's a money is a problem uh, they cannot commit right now probably uh, they cannot spend much time with you because uh, right now they're very busy and they're making money and money is naturally causing uh, them uh, to react like this so one of the causes could be that money is a problem let's talk but do not fight i think uh, another message is that whenever you guys talk you know you end up fighting so instead of uh, addressing what's wrong in the relationship you add to uh, one more you know fight to the whole thing and you know there is uh, there is there is no answers to it there's no addressal to the problem so i think they are saying could be their words you know definitely that let's talk uh, but let's not fight you know i don't want to fight let's talk that's that's what they want to do probably they want to clear things out but the moment they start saying something, you start questioning why, 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 you know, it wasn't like this. So maybe I think it gets onto a fight. They'll call regularly. That's what I feel. I mean, I get another 7 or uh, 14 days. I get two uh, numbers within 7 or 14 days or after 7 or 14 days. They start calling regularly. You know, the call, calls are more regular. Like if you used to talk if, uh, to each other every day, then it became like uh, twice in a week, thrice in a week. It's kind of changed, but they will be more regular. You know, I get after 7 days or 14 days. I'll come back, but give me time. Look at this. I mean, they will come back. So have faith in your relationship. They will be back. But all they need is time right now. I think time is a big factor here. So you've got to keep the patience. So this is the situation. Thinking, thinking. You're thinking, they're thinking. Both parties are thinking right now. They're thinking something else. You're thinking something else. So you're thinking what they are thinking. So there's a big, complicated, chaotic situation, you know. I'm so confused. So somewhere they are confused about what to do, not to do in this relationship. And I think that's when they need time. Sometimes you need time out from each other to think properly, to think, to see how much you miss each other or what it is. So I think that's what's going to happen. Let's see what the monology cards are going to say. What are the monology cards going to say? What any more messages that I can give for the current situation? Prosperity lies ahead. So this is prosperity in terms of uh, the love situation. And uh, I think... Uh, Somebody is going to come towards you. Like I said, there's prosperity. That means the uh, relationship is going to move in a, uh, will be in a better place soon or will uh, really, uh, you know, there'll be movement uh, movement uh, in it if it's been, you know, very quiet from both the sides. But definitely there is prosperity, you know, in the relationship. So it's going to move forward. There'll be better times. They'll try to feel the same. same. Step out of your comfort zone. So I think you've become, you've gone to a comfort zone where you were like, uh, you're not doing you also comfort zone here is not doing anything uh you know like uh, you're just sulking you know you're just thinking about them you're just thinking when they're going to call i think it's about your comfort zone you made a very comfortable you know a zone around you that you do not want to uh, go out of it you know and i think that's going to bore you out even if they are calling not calling you got to meet your friends you're going to do your job i think do not sulk because you'll get anxiety attacks you'll get depression uh, don't get into all this just move out of your house and uh, I know for some of you, you really, it's like locked in yourself and, you know, that kind of a thing that I'm not going to do anything unless my relationship is back on its feet, but it doesn't happen like that. Uh, the moment you are in a good space, the moment uh, you are happy, the moment uh, you think positive, so they're also going to come uh, running back. Remember that. You're going to send out more positivity. See, believe in the impossible. That's what I got. So believe in the impossible. Things are going to happen. I think when you go into think in your mind, it's going to heal, it's going to heal, it will heal, you know, that's the message that I get. So just think of the... Uh, even if your relationship is going through a bad time, just think about how it will heal, how think about the good times that they're going to talk to you, they're going to call you, be positive. And uh, look at this, I told you the energy is gaining momentum. It will gain momentum, it is gaining momentum because there will be prosperity. And I think one of the cards, I'm, I don't know where it's gone, it did say they will start calling regularly and I also said 7 to 14 days. Those are the kind of time frames that I got. 
see all the other messages. Look at the bigger picture. Look at the bigger picture. Probably you both need uh, time out right now. Uh, so maybe uh, you know after two weeks or three weeks or whatever the time you think uh, it's it's going to be better because the bigger picture is yes there will be more clear yes there'll be more clarity in your relationship whatever side it may swing to uh, probably if they tell you that I need more time I'll be back so that you'll also be clear but definitely you'll be more clearer I think that's the bigger picture see the bigger picture that if you take time out or if you talk to each other and put your egos aside and talk to each other uh, you are you know the relationship will also be in a better place i think you both need to understand and talk you know communicate like two way communication it can't be listen to me or just listen to me because it's not necessarily that both are right or both are wrong so look at this the end of the tough cycle so beautiful cards i think matching to what the uh, general reading i'm not going to call it general reading but the kind of energy that was coming to me today the end of the tough cycle approaches so whatever tough times uh, you had with the person or whatever is going to happen I think uh, just keep patience, have faith and uh, things will get sorted out. I think this one is here about them getting confused uh, and uh, you also probably wondering what's happening in the relationship. So look at this, heart to heart conversations. So definitely I think you've not been having heart to heart conversations. One of you really wants to talk to the other. The other one is still not sure should I talk or not. But this is going to, the guy is going to turn his face soon towards you. I think you're going to have a heart to heart conversation. You're going to understand. See uh, what it says. It says honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Be honest with what you feel, uh, you know, what you're feeling and what you think the other person is not doing right, doing right or what you think you need from the relationship. It's not always about accusing that you're not right, I'm right, you're wrong, I'm right. It's like, it's like how can we save this? How can, what uh, can uh, both of us do that, you know, this relationship can go on or get back on the track or what do you think we need to, uh, you know, change uh, that this relationship has to be back on its track? Let your friends help you. Maybe your friends are... Uh, uh, are involved in the sense uh, you know the person through your friends so maybe ask your friends you know if uh, take advice that uh, you know this is happening what do I do maybe you have a best friend you always uh, talk to or you always uh, you know ask them what's uh, what's the next step what should I do or you ask them generally for an advice so let your friends help you out and uh, ask for and accept support from others so accept uh, support if it's a difficult time you don't need to lock yourself out it's like go out with your friends talk to them you'll feel better Probably you'll be uh, you'll make a better judgment of the whole thing, or probably you'll uh, be able to deal with the whole thing uh, much better. It can't be that unless they say what's going to happen, you just keep the, you know keep to yourself and you do not step out of your comfort zone and you become like okay, I'm not going to do anything. This card came out. They have flipped in my hand, but I didn't know if I should take or not. But yes, I think somewhere the love wasn't returned, and I think some uh, somewhere this is the problem at one of the sides sides your side their side uh, that's what they feel or you feel i think you feel that the love wasn't returned uh, you felt there was not enough love because you gave a lot of love and the person somewhere did not receive that love i mean did not understand that love or uh, did not uh, value that love this came out the third time second time i'm going to do the third time because i saw it i mean this is definitely a big factor and in the end guys if you think the love is not getting returned and the guy wants to move on the girl wants to move on whoever you're dealing with whatever gender doesn't matter i think it's time to also take a call okay because i understand there's patience there's time there's everything but there is something uh, you know you know where the relationship uh, is not going uh, right because i think your relationship the chat about the relationship you will have and uh, things will get much clearer and you understand what you need to do or not uh, in the future so i think uh, give yourself a deadline cut off time uh, see if you can heal the relationship, talk to the person, have a conversation. But if it doesn't happen, I would say move on. Any other messages that I would like to give? Release your ex. For some of you, this is it. I mean, you're on the brink of it, you know. You're just waiting for, because I think you have the hint somewhere. You're just waiting for uh, the right answer. For some of you, remember this, okay. You almost, you know, you almost got a letter from them or a message from them. That you know it cannot go. So I think whatever I know it will be heartache, but at least you'll get clarity because I feel somewhere it was so hot and cold. I mean you did not know that to move on or not to move on, and I think that's the most painful thing. But this one will clear uh, a lot of things from your mind. So uh, do have that heart to heart chat is what I feel it honestly. And do remember to like my channel and comment, and I'll be back with another reading. Do tell me if your situation is like that, and I hope uh, good things happen. It heals. And uh, thank you so much for listening to me. Have a wonderful Sunday. Bye, guys. And do subscribe to my channel. Don't forget that.